Well, good, uh, good day, people. Uh, today, I thought I'd like to uh, demonstrate how to create a caricature in Photoshop. You can do this in GIMP as well. Um, I'm not too familiar with all the tools in GIMP, um, but I know that it does have all the features you need. <clears throat> Starting off with a standard image of uh, Will Ferrell. Um, I got this off Google from the uh, Step Brothers movie poster. Hopefully they'll let me do this, but you know I can always take it down later for demonstration purposes only. Um, well, basic caricature is just a distortion of the actual image, and uh, you know you can emphasize or de-emphasize certain characteristics or flaws or conditions in an image. So for this, uh, I'm going to do two things. Uh, give Will Ferrell a small, smaller forehead because he does have a big forehead, but I thought I'll. Uh, shrink that up a little bit. Now uh, before we begin um, I'm using a CS5 uh, but you can do this in any Photoshop since oh god uh, years and years and years ago versions wise. The One of the most important things that you will need to do is control your layers. Uh, CS5 you can control your layers just by uh, toggling the little button here but if not uh, it'll be uh, embedded in uh, the little sidebar should be on by default on the right uh, if you need to you can always go to view or sorry window and layers make sure it's checked it'll pop up so remember window layers if you use in a previous version I think CS3 or below uh, but I'm not 100% accurate on that okay um, start off with um, I always want to duplicate my layer so get rid of the default background when I imported it um, just drag your image to the little piece of paper icon right below the trash can. Don't drop it into the trash can or that'll delete it. You drop it in the trash can, it's gone. So, Or you can just right click and uh, let's see, uh, I think, right, drag that on layer. Uh, uh, no, yeah, I guess the best way to do it is just drag it into the little paper icon. The thing about Photoshop, there are literally five or six different ways that you can do the same thing, uh, which I'll, I can demonstrate later uh, or in another tutorial. But with Photoshop, um, you know, it, it's redundancy, redundancy, redundancy. You mean, the, as the saying goes, you got nine ways to skin a cat. So, okay, uh, so moving right along, let's start off with uh, I'll just go ahead and lock the bottom layer just because I want, want to preserve that as best I can. Um, now let's start off with the eyes. Um, usually what I like to do is like to zoom in on the eyes and what I'll do is, wait, this might be a little easier, um, just highlight both eyes. So you know what, let's do the rectangular tool for this. Okay, now just for the sake of being um, redundant, what I'll do is I'll select the eyes. You can either edit, copy, or control C. Uh, just to copy it with a shortcut key, and then I can edit paste or control V. So now what happens is I've got just the eyes. So if you notice how I'm toggling off the bottom layers, I just got the eyes. So now uh, what this does is it'll it allows me to use the actual image itself to shrink. So let's start off with eye number one or his uh, his left eye. Now usually what I like to do is uh, you know, I'll highlight the area I want to shrink or manipulate, and I'll go to Edit, Transform. Let's go to Distort. Now with this, you know, you can shrink it up a little bit. You can make it bigger, shorter, smaller, which I think I'll do one and one each way, just for demonstration purposes, show you a little different uh, variety as far as what you can do to do characters. So I do that, just hit Enter. Now as you see, um, you see you got that little pattern right here, this little border. Now what I like to do is to clean that up. Just So uh, change that with the erase tool. Uh, do 9 is okay. But now uh, the reason why I'm getting it so smooth, you want to make sure to have your flow set to a low number. Uh, 5, 6 is fine. If you have it set high, when you erase you'll get those really hard lines. So make sure your flow on your brush is set pretty low just because it'll give you more blending effect and that's what you want is to have a nice simple smooth blend okay so as you see 
and it blends in just nice. Now I, I got a little eyebrow here, but you know we'll we'll work that out later. Actually, you can probably erase that and make his eyebrow look bigger. Yeah, so that's all right. Okay, so now when you zoom out, he's got one smaller eye and one bigger eye. So now let's uh, instead of making emphasizing de-emphasizing the eye, let's emphasize the other eye. Okay, so now just turn off that layer. You see, see the big difference. It's subtle, but it's you know it's, it's enough to get the job done. All right, so now let's move on to the other eye. Now here I want to make it bigger, so just select the area. And let's go ahead and do Control T to transform, um, or you can go to Edit, Transform, Pre-Transform, and uh, just make that bigger. Give him a big old, you know, nasty eye. Okay, so now let's move that over a little bit. And again, once you do that, just go and deselect. Now you need to erase this, the, the, the clear pattern or the clear border or the shape around the eye. So again, let's go to the Erase tool. Um, make this just a little bigger as far as the diameter and but make sure your flow let's start off a little low lower that seven okay so now uh, when you erase it blends in it's the beauty about working with a photo is you can take that different uh, layers or you know different aspects of that photo and blend it in with itself because you're using the same basically the same pixel the same colors so they'll blend really easy um, with very very minimal effort to you know try to hide manipulation um, so there you have one little eye one big eye and uh, with Will Ferrell you know it looks natural for him actually so Okay, so that's starting off with the nose. Uh, or let's start off with the nose. Um, actually, you know what? Let's uh, move on. Let's give him just a bigger jaw or a smaller head. Now, the trick is you want to keep those eyes pretty much uh, centered where they are because if you look at the shape of, of a head, eyes are always going to be in the middle. So what we need to do is we want to make this area along his chin bigger or fatter. So what well, the best way I think we can do this is uh, we'll just use the uh, oval tool or the uh, what is this? It is the uh, elliptical marquee tool. All right, so let's just uh, say about right there. That's all we need. We need to make sure our layer where it's just his image is highlighted. So now I want to stay on the base layer. Let me lock the bottom. Now here, let's just go back to the distort tool. Uh, transform distort now all I want to do is I want to go ahead and work there okay now you see you'll get the eyes but we'll we'll fix that here in a bit so make his head smaller his jaw bigger okay let's drop the eyes a little bit there 